Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the weeks of October 1st through the 16th. Um, I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and be... Now, this card is coming out on everybody's reading now. Wow. Hmm. Wonder if somehow the stories of Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini is all connected. Okay. Um, all right, so central issue or heart of the matter I have is the Knight of Pentacles. I have the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. All right, so some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, could be dealing with water. Um, I'm sorry, I just blanked out. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, so air. So, you guys, there is someone that is on their way to make a confession uh, someone has been afraid to speak their mind and now they're ready to talk. They're ready to tell the truth and give you some sort of clarity or some sort of response or some answers or something. Um, so yeah, someone is on their way and this is, this is scary for them. Um... I'm seeing like having a sense of fulfillment or happiness. So either you are going to be spending time with someone that you love or spending time with family, but I'm seeing something like the merge, the merging of two families coming together. I don't know if you're having visitors within the next two weeks. Um, but I'm seeing like the merging of two families. So like you have children, they have children. We're all coming together to be one big happy family here. Um, for many of you, you're feeling like you have maybe met someone who you can settle down with. You might be falling in love. Um, but there, for some reason, there's a, a feeling of rejection. Um, it's so funny that these cards came out back to back like this and you guys see sometimes when I put my cards back I put them back one at a time and some somehow these two still ended up magnetizing <laughs> together so um, I'm feeling like it's more so maybe about feeling left out um, So like, for instance, if you guys, like they have children, you have children, it may be about the children, like a child feel, feels left out. Um, or like if you are a single mom or dad, but for the within the next two weeks, you're gonna be spending time with somebody else, your child might be the one that feels rejected or left out because you're spending time with someone else or someone new or whatever the case um and they may be feeling left out here and i'm seeing too someone feeling emotionally guarded um someone's feeling emotionally guarded and they may be in denial about something here uh financially you know, things are looking good. Uh, you're feeling like you have more than enough at this time or, you, you know, you were able to t pay, take care of your responsibilities and then you have some left over, you know, for saving or shopping. I'm feeling like you're more so going to save it than spend it. Um, let's see what this Five of Pentacles is. Even if you do settle, uh, I mean, suffer a financial setback, um, I feel like immediately 
it's, you're going to make up for it. So all is not lost. You're going to break even or get your return back on an investment. Oh, let's see what is this that flew out. Okay, so Eight of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. I'm feeling like, again, going back to children, if someone is getting ready to get engaged because I'm seeing the possibility of an engagement or something that has the potential to go there at some point. Like this is someone serious. This isn't just a random relationship and maybe your child detects that. And maybe you have just in, uh, had a, a close bond with your child and your child has been used to it just being you and them. And now he'll, here's this new person and they're having to adjust and they're like, oh, I feel like this person is going to be around for a long time. And this is giving me anxiety. So I feel like for some of you, your child is having to adjust to a new relationship that is getting ready to happen. Um, also, I'm seeing this as someone stressed about money or having some sort of anxiety about money. Or it's like wanting to start a family, but worried that you don't have enough to offer. Um, there is someone who maybe have been holding back for whatever reason or trying not to share, you know, what they were thinking or share their thoughts with you for whatever reason. Maybe they felt like they would get rejected or turned away. Or maybe someone is fearing that children are going to be a factor, but that might just be your anxieties. That might not necessarily be the case. Also, for some of you, like I said, you could be dealing with air. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries did also pop up. Let me uh, also clarify this two of swords here. I just kind of want to see what is being blocked or hidden here. Now, for some of you, I am seeing someone is trying to hold on to two, two families or two connections. Like one relationship is out is for security. The other relationship is because they're in love. It's genuine love. And someone is like, do I choose love or do I choose comfort? Is falling in love with a poor person worth it? Or do I want to be with someone who has, who can take care of me or who I don't have to worry about finances ever again? So it's a matter of logic versus the heart. What's most important to you? It's like, I know you're saying, why can't I just have both? Like, forget this reading because I want both. And you never know. That might eventually happen. But for now, I feel like somebody may have to make the choice of money or real love. And you're trying to use your intuition. Or you're trying to shut out your intuition. You, there's a need for you to listen to your intuition, but your logic is getting in the way. You might be torn between a fire sign and an air sign. This is also your energy here. I have it clarified by the King of Wands and the Six of Swords here. <sighs> this is you trying to close off or not listen to your intuition, but eventually you're going to you're going to go on that path. You're saying Let's just see where this goes. I don't know what's going to happen. Let me just go ahead and trust my intuition. Also, I'm seeing this as that trip or visitors. Either you may be getting ready to visit someone within the next two weeks or someone will be coming into your home within the next two weeks. Yeah, I, I feel like there's travel involved here. Um, 
There's defenses are going up for some reason. Your guards are going up. You're trying to protect your emotions or you're hiding your emotions. For some of you, you could be in denial about a connection that you're having. Something is getting ready to happen Libra season. There's a connection or you might be connecting with a Libra. You're being drawn to this person or this person is being drawn to you. There's a spiritual connection that you have. Yeah, you guys are on the path of happiness here. I feel like there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel. There's going to, through some sort of union or through some sort of marriage or agreement, um, there's going to be happiness. I'm seeing two families merging or two different lives merging together. Maybe you are fighting against this for whatever reason, but it's happening. Yeah, someone is coming from a distant Someone can't, someone can't keep their mind off of you. Someone has been obsessively thinking about you or you have been obsessively thinking about someone here. Yep, see, two of, two of wands, someone is on their way. Someone has made a decision to move forward and pursue um, what it is that they want. And see, the devil is coming out again. There's an obsession. Uh, temptation someone is just like I can't I gotta have you I feel like everybody has been getting like a similar message like I gotta have you like people are being driven by raw intense passion you know to go after what it is that they want or go after their desires here they're being driven um, by their obsession um Somebody is like, I've been fantasizing about you. I've been dreaming about you. The only thing with the devil, there's always a dark side. So the devil being next to the seven of cups is about temptation here. So that makes me feel like somebody is still attached to someone or there's still uh, a relationship that is ongoing but somehow you're getting involved with this person or they're the ones that it's like the victim like you are the one that has like a, a relationship already but this person it's like you're drawn to them so much that it's like oh my god i just need to experience them like i need to figure out why i'm so attracted to them so there's this intensity going on uh with you and another person now, if this doesn't pan out, then this is just more so obsessive thoughts and desires that are being that that you're experiencing or the other person is experiencing. But for the most part, I feel like this is happening because they're they're going out. They see what they want. They're like, OK, it's it's their mind is made up. Now it's a matter of how and when. So if someone is getting ready to pursue you, it's like, how do I want to pursue them? And when do I want to pursue them? But I'm going to pursue them. They're obsessed. They're driven. They want you. They're, they're, they're so much passion there. Um, I'm seeing someone, they can't hold on to this burden anymore. They've been holding on to their feelings for too long and it's like I can't hold on any longer so something is getting ready to happen either as soon as tonight if it doesn't happen tonight I say tonight because today is the last uh, day of the month the 30th so if something doesn't happen tonight or in the middle of the night then this is something that may happen at the end of October um, there are going to be like some major changes in your family 
Like either you're about to have a family, start a family, or move in together, um, or you, there's two people like the both of you are merging your families together. So you have kids, they have kids, and you guys are getting involved with each other some type of way. Even if they aren't moving in, you're getting involved with someone and you're doing activities together as a family. So I'm seeing a lot of family time. You're going to be very busy too. Um, it's like, man, I got to go to work. Um, I got to pick up the kids. I got to do this. I got to do that. So I'm seeing you being very busy uh, too within the next couple of weeks here. Um, let's clarify the devil. Mm. This card is the first card that popped out. Uh, Queen of Pentacles. So this could definitely be an earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Be careful that it's not someone that has health problems, though. Make sure that you're protecting yourself. Um, Ten of Pentacles coming out. Somebody... I feel like you're getting involved with someone who already has a family, like I said, or vice versa. You're the one with the family. They're getting involved with you here. And then also I'm just overall getting that someone is obsessed about starting a family with you. Be careful because they might try to trap you. And I feel like I got a similar message now. I forgot who that was. But um, they may try to trap you by, you know, putting their seed in you. Or if you're a guy, you know, either you could be trying to trap her or she could be trying to trap you. Maybe, maybe she removes her IUD. Maybe she doesn't take her birth control because she's like, if I have a baby, have a baby by me, be a millionaire. What's that song? That just popped in my head. So two, somebody might be trying to get involved with someone just for status. Someone who is a gold digger. Not everybody, but somebody somebody does want that. Sagittarius. It's a blending of families. Again, temperance coming out to families emerging. There, there's also a spiritual connection with this person. Oh, see, we got the hanged man. There's also a spiritual connection with this person. So for some of you, it could be a twin flame. Um, doesn't have to be, but it, it's like a spiritual union and it's something uh, that is deceptive about it. And with the devil, that makes me feel like in the seven of cups that those are cards of temptation. So someone is sneaking off to be with another person, I feel like, and they've been thinking about doing this for a while now. All right, so I hope that resonated. Um, please feel free to email me if you want a private reading because everyone's personal life will be different. Um, you can contact me at tamashtarot at gmail.com. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I just saw the Ace of Cups, so you guys should be in the tower. You guys should be experiencing love <laughs> this week, within the next two weeks. All right, thank you guys for watching. Many blessings to you.